Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a spa manicure. Um, basically this is a good thing to do. I do it about once a week to every two weeks. I try not to do it any later than two weeks because my nails really start getting ragged then. Um, but this just trims any extra skin that you have and, and shapes and files your nails and really you know treats your hand and exfoliates and that sort of thing. So it's really good for your nails and your hands and um, it promotes you know healthy nail growth and things like that. So what I use is a cuticle nipper which you can skip this step if you want to. Some people swear by not doing that, but I have um, really bad overgrowth sometimes in my cuticle area, and I have no option but to cut them to keep them looking decent. Um, also, I have a cuticle pusher here. I'm using a metal one because it really scrapes off the excess. Like I said, that's a big problem for me. Um, if it's not for you, that's another thing you can skip. Or you can also use just a wooden orange stick like this to push it back with but that's just not enough for my nails um, and then also I'm using um, a relatively fine grit uh, metal nail file I use this over like an emery board I just have one laying here because when I file with this emery board my nails the edges feel so ragged afterwards it's ridiculous and it just feels terrible so this makes it a lot smoother and you really typically don't need something this heavy um, and then the next thing, also optional because of my problem cuticles, um, I have this little double-ended nail stick and it's got like, I don't know, like a file material like on either end of it and you can like get in there and buff away like the edge of your nails like where there's excess skin or you can even do detail work on the edge of your nails with this. So these are available at Sally's I think for like 30 cent and you can get them at CVS in like a 10 pack I think for like a couple dollars. So <clears throat> the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start by filing away the edge of where my nails are. Now the next step is to buff your nails and I just have a generic sort of buffing block here. Um, I've already done that to all of my nails and basically there's usually a hard grit side to like actually shape and file your nails and then there's a softer grit side to file your nails like your nail bed and then that will remove any ridges you have in your nails and even it out. And then the next side, generally just like, I don't know, it's called clean, I think, and it just kind of smooths it out a little bit. And then the last side adds like a really high gloss shine. And it looks so good and it just makes your, it just brightens your nails up when they get kind of dingy looking. Um, so that's what I did already. The next step would be to soften your cuticles um, to start working on them. Um, what you can do is you can definitely soak them in warm soapy water or you can put a cuticle remover on your nails and like just all over your cuticle to soften them up. Um, what I like to do after these steps because I have been filing and buffing and all that I have like all these nail filings on my nails. So the next step that I want to do is just go and wash my hands and take a nail brush and really scrub my nails really good underneath and on top um, to get all that grit out of the crevices and things like that. And then that typically softens up my cuticles enough. Um, and then when I come back, I put on um, my cuticle oil, which I'm using Pache um, Antimicrobial Cuticle just Oil. I wash my hands and I brush them. I actually use like an old toothbrush <laughs> just to um, brush my nails and clean them underneath and things like that. So I just washed them and that did soften my cuticles up some. So what I'm going to do now is take my cuticle oil, which I put this on every night before I go to bed. It is so good for your nails. And so then just kind of work it in a little bit. You don't want to massage it all the way in because you still want to have some moisture there. So when you trim your cuticles, if that's something that you decide to do, um, it'll kind of make it a little bit easier for you. Alright, so now that I have that on my cuticles and my nails, and they're soft. I'm going to take my cuticle nipper and there's a little tool here that you can like flip over and then it just kind of makes it, I don't know if that makes sense, but it kind of makes it retract back. So anyway, then just very, very gently, do not go in and rip off your nail or your skin around your nail. Don't go in and take a big chunk out of it. You just want to nip off what is dead. And you literally just want to press it down really lightly and nip. Just like short little movements. Don't rip, but just short little nips. 
that way you don't pull off your live skin and that will lead to an infection lead to an inflamed cuticle in like a matter of days so it goes pretty quickly and so just touch up any areas that you need mostly mine are like right beside the edge of the nail and I can like literally just pull dead skin off there and it comes off really easily if you really have to work to pick off some skin then you probably should just leave it alone so just very I'm gently get all the dead skin from the edges of my cuticles um, I'm going to push my cuticles back and so I'm taking my metal cuticle okay, pusher. so now I have pushed my cuticles back, I've buffed my nails, I've put some oil on them. Um, the next step, and also by the way, I forgot to tell you, um, I'm not going to shape my nails right now, but if you wanted to go ahead and file your nails, um, the best time to do it would be before you... Um, wash your hands or before you soften your cuticles with anything so that way if they're if they're moist you know from like the oil or from water or something it's really not good to file them so definitely make sure they're dry um, my last step that I personally do is I use a sugar scrub which this one is from Bath and Body Works it's one of my favorite things in the world um, it's from their aromatherapy line and it's a pretty big tub and I have had this for about six months now and you only need a little bit of this and I get my hands wet and I take just a little bit of this I scoop it out and there's oil in there with it and I just you know go like this and then like I you know go my cuticles a little bit and it just makes your hands feel amazing really I mean they it, it's insane how it makes them feel so that's what I'll do next I'll follow up with that and then I'll follow up with a hand cream um, if you wanted to paint your nails after this, what you would do is obviously take some um, nail polish remover and make sure that you get all the oil off your nails before you paint your nails because otherwise, you know, we have all this oil and things on there, it won't, it won't adhere. Um, if you don't have uh, cuticle oil, like I said, there are cheaper ones out there that you can buy from Walmart or from Sally's or CVS, whatever. So here is the finished product. You can see my nails look really nice and they look clean and taken care of and really well groomed. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>